What's going on guys, Ace here, and today I'm going over how I use flickers in my videos. I usually use Sapphire to get it done, but I also have another method that you can use if you don't have Sapphire. Um, you actually don't need any plugins whatsoever. Um, so I have this dark scene here as an example, and I also have this light scene as an example. I'll play this one too. Um, so these are these are both using S Flicker for this one, and then I have this other example which is using the brightness which you can probably hardly notice any difference um do the same one with this one this one's all brightness so as you can see you can pretty much do the same thing either way and i'll hop in our new comp and show you guys how i do it okay so here's our first scene i'm gonna go ahead and play this so you can see what it looks like raw and then i'm gonna go ahead and just add an adjustment layer hit Control alt y i usually just name it flicker just so everything's nice and neat and then um, I'm going to search for S underscore flicker. There we go. So these are the default settings for S flicker. I'm going to play this. As you can see, it looks fine. It's not very strong. So what I usually do is take the amplitude. For a scene like this, I'll turn it up to like 0.35. And then let's play that. And then if you want to mess with like how fast it flickers, all you have to do is change the random frequency right here. And say you want it faster, I'm just gonna change it to 60 so you can see the difference. That's a lot faster. And then if you want it slower, um, change it, you know, lower number and it'll be a lot slower. Okay, and then I'm gonna duplicate this um, adjustment layer. I'm gonna turn this one off. And then I'm gonna get rid of the S flicker. And this time I'm just gonna add brightness. Right there, the normal color correction brightness. And then I'm going to hit um, actually, I'm going to click this, tap E, and then the drop down arrow and on brightness, I'm going to alt click it and I'll put an expression. Um, the expression I'm going to put in is just a wiggle. So I'm going to change the frequency of the wiggle to let's say 50 and then comma, um, the amount of the wiggle, I'm going to put it on say 30 and then let's see what this looks like. Oh, I got to hit the... There we go, close the parentheses. Okay, and it looks about the same. Obviously you can change these settings as well. Um, the first number, I'm gonna turn it down some, maybe 30. So it's a little slower. And that's pretty much the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the light scene as well so you can see like the type of settings that I usually use for um, different types of scenes. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna create a whole new adjustment layer. Control Alt Y, um, S Flicker. Okay, and then I'm gonna play this through so you can see why you need to adjust settings. Turn all this off. Oh, not that. Um, so you can see why you need to adjust settings for different scenes. See, that's way, way too strong. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna turn this down. I usually turn it down to like 0.7 or 0.5. Let's try 0.7. Um, not 0 0.7, 0 0.07. My bad. There we go. Okay, and that's that's okay. Um, and then I'm just show you the um, brightness settings. As well, I'm going to duplicate this adjustment layer. Turn that one off. Let's add brightness. Okay. And then let's tap E. Drop down arrow. Alt click brightness wiggle open parentheses um, let's do 30 comma um, maybe 10 close parentheses but yeah that's pretty much all there is to it um, I got a lot of suggestions to do this so I know this is probably easy for a lot of y'all but hey easy things can be really helpful when you're get, just getting started so um, leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed, and subscribe if you really enjoyed, and uh, leave some suggestions down below if you want me to cover something, and I'll get right on it. But um, yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys next time.